Hey guys, in today's video, let's look at how we can use ChatGPT to build us some trading indicators. Uh, so in the last one, we had uh, ChatGPT build us a trading indicator around the moving average and some standard deviations. In today's video, I want to look at using the RSI and in particular, a uh, multi-time frame uh, RSI. So I'll be using uh, TradingView for, for charts, which in turn has um, the Pine script, which you can find here under the Pine editor to, to help you build your own custom uh, indicators and strategies. Okay, so uh, let's get down to chat GPT. So um, let's start off by saying, uh, so please code a Pine script trading indicator. that will show a buy arrow when the RSI crosses up from a uh, specified level. Yep, so we want to be able to modify that level. And if the RSI is above a specified level on another time frame. That can okay we can leave it as that and um, so what else would we want to modify uh, or have as inputs uh, please allow the RSI length please include the RSI length as an input okay so that's one uh, the other one is also allow the second RSI time frame to be specified. Okay. Uh, please allow the, or maybe we'll just we want both RSI time frames to be specified. Please allow uh, both. RSI time frames to be specified. Okay, so yep, uh, let's see what it can code for us. Uh, first thing, it's version 5, which in my previous experience hasn't. Version 5 is the latest PineScript version, but it is. But ChatGPT's ability to code it is suspect from my previous experience. So let's see whether um, this works. Also the plot character uh, yeah, doesn't look quite correct to me. So we might need some modifications. Or maybe let's just get please code in version 1. Or version 2. Please code in version 2. Yeah. yeah, maybe I should have specified version 2. Okay, so it's finally stopped. Okay, so it's making an update. Okay, here's an updated version. Okay. <laughs> the output's pretty slow. I wonder whether upgrading to plus would would help. Okay, default mail thirty. Yeah, this looks more in line. This yeah does look more in line with what I'm expecting.
Okay, so so yeah, what we're expecting is a multi-time frame cross. If the RSI crosses up from say at level thirty and um, on a higher time frame or low time frame, if you like, it's above a certain level. Then through a buy signal, that's what we're expecting. Uh, again, yeah, this part doesn't look correct. Crossover. Um, yeah, pretty sure I told ChatGPT to use cross up, but okay, we will take this and um, we'll make some changes. Okay, so let's copy the code. Um, what we need to do is we need to open up Pine Editor and uh, should just paste it here. Um, instead of crossover, let's use cross cross uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, we could use crossover. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Crossover and then so we will use instead of this what we could do is we can just say uh, so we should probably create like a buy signal so buy signal will be equals to this RSI crossed up yep and this so if these two conditions are true we have a buy signal okay so once we have that um, we can then do a plot shape and then we would our series would be equals to buy signal our style would be equals to shape dot triangle up since we want to buy our location would be equals to location so we want it um, dot below the bar right? and the color will be color dot orange yeah let's use orange and our size will be we can use size dot normal okay so yep these are the changes and um, yeah, we should put in a version. So I think at uh, yeah, we could use version four, which would show us that it's not the latest. But I think it might still be able to work. Okay. So we get a bunch of errors, uh, undeclared identifiers, basically. Okay. Right. So I think what we need to do is input dot. Sorry, input dot. And uh, yeah, we should put input dot here. Input dot. Right, and I think why this happens is because of a version mismatch in the type. Okay. Then we would need to put 
sim.info here so, or rather siminfo.tickerid you should copy that mm -hmm. and uh, yeah let's try saving it again okay so as you can see it's saved um, let's see let's add it to the chart so RSI test so indicators then my scripts we can just add this RSI test okay so it's been added and then let's modify the settings so okay so so on a let's say on a 15 minute time frame we want uh, okay so if it crosses the say 25 level mark on the 15 minute time frame and is above of 40 on the one hour time frame then we would want to look at it more closely yep uh okay or rather maybe let's look at it on a shorter on a shorter scale so maybe we could use on a five minute time frame if it crosses 35 and on the 15 minute time frame it's above 50 yeah, so then we would want to buy. And uh, okay, so the triangle up is where you can see the um, the script has put in, looks like a buy. So, so you can see it's not too bad actually. Like it does seem to pick up um, points at which you could get in a decent amount of pips so like you put in a signal here at 9439 and that went all the way to 9586 so yeah you could pick up at least about 10 or 15 pips per move with this simple script. Um,